Okay, so now we're going to use the central dogma to stop worrying and learn to love transcription and translation to take a DNA or RNA sequence and determine the DNA, RNA, or protein sequence. Okay, so here we're going to start, and this is obviously a DNA sequence because this has T's in it. The second one's an RNA sequence that we're going to use to determine the DNA and the protein because it has U's in it. That's a really fast way to determine. Okay, so we're going to give, be given this DNA sequence. Let's quick determine the mRNA sequence. Okay, and so for the mRNA, it's going to have the opposite direction. The 3 prime and the 5 prime are the directions. And this is really quite simple. Um, and we'll determine the other strand of the DNA as well because that's fun. And it's always going to be opposites, opposite directions. 3 prime, 5 prime, 5 prime, 3 prime. Okay, so let's determine the other strand of the DNA first because that's really quite easy. So A pairs with T, T pairs with A. G pairs with C, A pairs with T, G pairs with C, C pairs with G, G pairs with C, A pairs with T, C and G, T, A, A. A, G pairs with C, C pairs with G, G pairs with C. I'm getting dizzy doing this. That's okay. Not going to stop until we are done. Okay, so the important thing to remember is that this, the directions are opposite whenever you're doing this. So one DNA strand goes 3 prime to 5 prime. The other strand goes 5 prime to 3 prime. Um, and then A's pairs with T's, C's pairs with G's, etc., etc. Okay, so for the RNA, let's use a different color. The difference is A pairs with U in mRNA sequences. So what I do is I just go ahead and I do that first so I can't possibly forget. And again, the directions are going to be opposite. You don't have to worry about that too much um, for the point of this. So the T is gonna, still going to pair with A. The G still pairs with C. G's and C's are always the easiest. And there we go. T still pairs with A. G's and C's. There we go. And so if we compare this one to this one, it has the exact same sequence, except all the t it's T in DNA and U in mRNA. So that's a good way that you can kind of check your work. Like the mRNA is going to be really, really similar to one of the strands of DNA, the strand that you didn't copy. Okay, so that's pretty simple. A's pairs with C's, T's pairs with G's. The directions switch, but that's not a big deal for the level that we're going for. Okay, so if we're given RNA, can we determine the DNA sequence? And can we determine, different color, the protein sequence, and that is the question. Okay, so the tool that we're going to use to determine the protein sequence is called a codon table. And you could do a quick Google search right now and pull up one, and they're all pretty similar. I'm going to walk you through how to use that right now with my fake one. I don't have one. <sighs> okay, so whoa. why does it keep moving on me? There we go. So in our codon table, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be a big box, and it's going to have like four columns and a whole bunch of boxes, four rows, four columns, and in each of those there's going to be four additional lines, three, four. And you're going to have a sequence on one side, so like AUG, and then it'll say MET on the other. So this part is called the codon. A codon's a series of three bases. The other side, like MET, uh, that's the coded amino acid. Okay, and because we read 3 prime to 5 prime, as long as we have that 
mRNA, the messenger RNA, that's the one that you use for this, in 5' prime to 3' prime direction, we can just read it directly. So I already gave you the first one. And the trick here, and what you might want to do, is write it down and divide these into the individual codons. Series of 3. And then go ahead with your periodic table, well, not periodic table, Jew. So um, it would be with your codon table to decipher these codons. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and then come back. Okay, welcome back. So your answer should be MET. We did that one together. THR, ASP, PHE. A L A G L Y L E U. Okay, so we could take the mRNA and get the protein using the codon table really, really easily. The trick to the codon table is you can look it up individually by matching the codon to the thing, or uh, you can read the directions and it'll say maybe something like first base here, like A, C, U, G, or whatever. And so you, for our first one, we'd look at A. So we know that it would be somewhere in this, let me use a different color, somewhere in this row, right? And then for the second, second base, and then third will be off on the side here. So in the second base, if it's like A, C, U, G, for us it would be here. So we know that it would have to be where these two meet, something here. And then the third, it's going to be like A, C, G, U. We know it would be the very, very last line right there. So that's how you use the codon table. You can use it however you want, which is why I don't really go over it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So RNA to protein, no problem. That process is called translation because we're taking the language of the nucleic acids, the RNA, and changing it to the language of the proteins, which is, of course, the amino acid. For, D for RNA to DNA or DNA to RNA, we're not changing the language. So that's why it's called transcription. So it's like English English to American English. It's still English, but there's you know some weird U's involved. But it's the same language. So you can still transcribe. Okay, so RNA to DNA. So A, and, and so the weird thing here is that the A's are gonna pair, or the U's are gonna pair with the A's. So I go ahead and do that first. Because I cannot remember that. Okay. A is going to pair with T. G is going to pair with C. A pairs with T. G with C. C with G. G with C. A with T. C with G. The U's pair with A. U pairs with A. U pairs with A. G with C. C with G. G with C. G with C. G with C. A with T. A with T. T. And go back and double check your work. There shouldn't be any U's and you are done. So we can, given an mRNA sequence, we can determine DNA sequence. We can use a protein sequence. Tool for that is codon table. Tool for this is remembering the base pairing rules.